My name is Chrisanne. I was born in Jamaica and I arrived in the UK in 2002 to be with my mom. I had my grandparents in Jamaica, but uh, they soon passed away and that kind of made me think, okay, I don't really have anything left in Jamaica. Building on my life here with my mom and my family, I thought, yeah, this is definitely my home. When I arrived in the UK in 2002, I was eight years old. I then went to primary school, then went off to secondary school. Everything was perfect. I didn't realise there was a problem with my status until I signed up to go to university. When I put my UCAS reference online, I realised I couldn't get student finance because although I'm legally resident in the UK, I haven't got settled status and so I'm not eligible. I was frantic. I didn't know where to go, where to look because prior to that, I had always seen myself the same as my other peers. There was nothing differentiating me from them. Whereas now I felt like with this whole immigration status issue, I was different to them. I started searching on the internet and I found this organisation called Just For Kids Law. It's an organisation which provides advocacy and legal support for young people going through various issues. Having met other young people facing the same issue who were part of that organisation, I then felt we needed to do something and start this campaign called Let Us Learn. It involved writing to different newspapers and telling them about the issue. The campaign asked for a change in government policy regarding the criterion of eligibility for student finance. We also want to see young people successfully taking up their places at university with a student loan. They've been led to believe that if they do really well and they achieve their grades, they can go to university. They then discover uh, that they can't actually access um, higher education. We're denying the country some really, really amazing young people who could go on to be huge successes. With the help of my advocate from Just For Kids Law, I was able to get a scholarship from LSE, offering me a full scholarship for the entire three years of my study. This didn't mean that the campaign efforts were to remain undone. I wanted to continue with the campaign efforts because I know personally so many amazing young people out there that society is missing out on. Society doesn't know what they will contribute in the future. It's really easy when you're going through something like this, to be like, oh, I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna do whatever with my life to work with. She does inspire me, because I definitely do wanna go uni. I thought, wow, she's actually making a change. Whereas someone like me, I'm going through this issue and I haven't done anything. The campaign needs all these young people to come together and shout loud about the issue so that everyone could hear it and that government and policy makers can make that change. A quote that has always inspired me is by Rosa Parks when she said, you should never be fearful of what you are doing when it is right. 